I know they're tough opposition, very tough opposition amongst those five teams. What word would you use, would you use to describe your mood about those five games? Uh, informative. The, the two results that I don't like the most is the two draws, the two draws the, in the competitive games. I feel if we want to continue to improve where we and get to where we want to be, then those are matches that we should win. So that's something that we can improve on. Brian Fortis has said that um, you're not too far off the best in Europe. Um, I think he referenced England and France when he saw it. said that. I just wonder what you, you think about where the team is at and whether you agree with it. We're trying to improve, we're not that level, we know we're not that level because we lost both of those games. Uh, but we were competitive in both games. The, the circumstances around the games are a little bit different in that we had just beaten Cyprus away to get to 15 points, we felt in a good place. Eng Eng England came to Hamden, played very well on the night, I thought, I thought England were good on the night. We didn't reach the standards that we want to reach, so we lost that one. The French game was a, was a different one again. We'd, we'd just qualified, having watched Spain uh, beat Norway. Uh, and we had a good night, to be honest. We enjoyed ourselves a little bit, and then we went to play one of the best teams in the world two days later. So if you actually watch the game against France, we, we, we had some good moments in the game. We, we showed that we can be competitive against these teams. That's what we want to show tomorrow night against uh, a very good Dutch side. We want to be competitive. We want to show that we're improving. And obviously, we want a positive result as well. You have played against uh, Spain in the qualifiers. And if I ask you to compare Spain with the best national team, what can you say about uh, Orange? Good team, good players. Uh, I think similar level to Spain. The, they're always competitive. The Nations League finals last year, they were in the, the last four. They're, they're always there. The Dutch team, always there. Good players. Uh, change of manager not, not too long ago. So obviously preparing for the tournament as well. We expect a tough game. Uh, and, th and they have some players who will grab the headlines and whatever. But many good players. We played the Dutch team before we went to the last European tournament. It was a good match. It was competitive. And that's what we're looking for again. Just in terms of the, the confidence and the sort of morale within the squad at the moment, can you just talk a bit about that? Because obviously this is the point where people start picking their squads and how many of the 23 will make it to all this sort of stuff. What's your thoughts on that and where do you see the squad at, at the moment? Well, that's when you guys start picking the squad. That's what I meant, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't need to pick the squad until middle of May. No, it's, it, listen, it's... Uh, the training's been really intense, but to be honest and, and to be fair to the players, the, the training is normally very intense when we come together. We, we have a good camaraderie in, within the squad. It's something that we've built over the last four and a half years. They understand that I can only pick 23, and they're all trying to show how good they are in training, which is fantastic because it drives the, it drives the standard up, and, and hopefully you see in the two games coming up that Everybody's trying to show that they want to be part of the Scotland squad that goes to Germany in the summer. A couple of withdrawals, Steve, uh, centre-backs, were you thought of, are you thinking about bringing somebody else in? Always thinking, because that's my job. I actually had a lot of centre-backs in the squad anyway, to get them in, gauge their fitness, uh, have a look at them up close in training. So to lose two is disappointing. Obviously, we did we knew there was a chance that Grant Hanley wouldn't come. Uh, disappointing to lose Scott. He played it last Sunday, travelled, having felt something, but was sure that it would disappear within 48 hours. It hadn't disappeared. He could still feel something. So rather than take a risk, we, we just decided that Scott would go back to his club. After the game tomorrow night, we'll reassess the squad and decide if we need to add to it. Are you any concerns at all about the two guys who've withdrawn in terms of the, the summer? No, not in terms of longevity of injury. Uh, they should both recover fine. Uh, John Carver was saying he's, got the, he's captured the Euros fever at the minute. I wonder if you've captured it yet. John say that, did he? Yeah. Says too much, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, for me, it's, it's still a long way off. Obviously, they, it's there. It's, it's there in, in front of us. But for now, it's to concentrate on these friendly matches. Uh, hopefully, two positive results. And then we can... Start to think about the pre-camp, the, the two friendlies before we go to the, the tournament itself. So it still seems a little bit distant to me. Is it, can you sense an excitement amongst the players having uh, joined up the last few days? 
No, I, th- I think at the start of the week when we, we joined up, obviously there's a lot of logistics that you have to go through in terms of player logistics, how, how we're going to approach the tournament in the summer. They need to know dates that they're going to be potentially involved with the squad. So there's quite a lot of admin stuff, if you like, at the start of the week about the Euros. But over the last 48 hours, we've just put that all aside and concentrated on the, the upcoming game against the Dutch. You said there just a minute ago, Steve, about you know the confidence and all that, and it drives the standards up. Have you felt it, especially this week? Have you seen evidence of that, that you know, they're all kicking each other on and it, it's all moving in the right direction as a squad, individually and you know collectively? Unfortunately, they're not, they're not kicking each other. Uh, they're competitive. Listen, it's, uh, this group of players are always competitive when they come away. They, they want to do well. I've always spoken highly of them. They, they want to do well every time they come away to represent their country. So that's what we're doing. Obviously, there's a little bit extra edge because we're approaching a, a major tournament and they all want to be involved in it. Steve, are there any questions that you want to answer tomorrow night? Is there anything that you're specifically looking for? Not really. Uh, just to. Uh, play as well as we can play. Uh, we've had a couple of really good training sessions where I've asked them to think about maybe doing something a little bit different. I won't tell you what it is, but these are the kind of games where you, where you can use that opportunity to try something that's maybe a little bit different. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Maybe we have to readjust after we've seen it in, in action against the Dutch. Uh, but we we just want to keep improving, Tom. There's no There's no... There's no real secret to that. There's no short short circuit. You just have to work as hard as you can every time you're together and respect your opposition and go out there and try to play as well as you can play. Is, is How do you marry performance and result, Steve? Probably similar to our other games against the pot one teams. If you, if you look at them, Spain away, we lost 2-0, but we were very competitive in the game. It was a good night. I thought we, we played well. The game sort of drifted away. I, got away from us towards the end uh, after a very close VAR decision that went against us was was a good performance England at Hamden probably a little bit disappointing uh, that we didn't play as well as we could on the night and like I said before the France game was a little bit different I made a lot of changes uh, and actually with the ball we played as well as we've as we've played against the pot one team in terms of keeping the ball and passing the ball we looked okay on the ball uh, but didn't defend set plays very well and conceded three goals for set plays so Use this game, another gauge, see see how we can do against a, a top side. I think a lot of fans would, and they've all written, we've all had great fun writing down our 23. Um, 22 of those names would appear to be kind of fairly obvious. Um, in your opinion? In my, in my, in my totally um, uh, incidental opinion. Uh, are there spots available, genuinely? Are there spot in your head? Are you thinking there are a couple of spots still up for grabs here? Yeah, uh, I think I said that not too long ago. There's, there's, there's always places up for grabs because you don't know what's going to happen. Coming into this this week, we've got a number of players that are not here that would have been here, but they're injured. So there's nothing going to change on that front over the next six, seven weeks. Players will get injured. That happens in football. Hopefully they don't get too too many injuries and hopefully there's no there's no big injuries that causes somebody to fall out but you're probably looking at a, a pool of 27 28 players that I have to narrow down to 23 so there are decisions to be to be made for sure 100 percent I know you're building confidence and you you know you try to improve all the time but already do you think you're the sort of team that whoever the opposition is they're not going to relish playing Scotland because of you know the way you've qualified yeah you know, the way you've played etc. I think we're a good team. If, if that's the if that's the short answer to to, 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 to a long question, I think I think we're a good team. I think we're over the last couple of years we've been very competitive. We lost out in the playoffs to the World Cup, but we had a very good qualifying campaign through the group. Uh, we managed to beat a pot one team there in Denmark. Uh, we've managed to beat a pot one team again in Spain in the the last qualifying group. So I think we've shown that we can compete with the bigger the bigger nations. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to do that more often because we've got a year this year where we're going to be playing against a lot of pot one teams, a lot of pot one stroke, really good pot two teams over the over the course of the whole year. So we, we want to be competitive, we want to win matches. So, yeah, hopefully we can show that.